Hello there, Rabbi. As we can tell by the smoke from the mountain, it is time for yet another in our series on the Ten Commandments. What are they all about? And today is the fourth commandment, according to the Hebrew version of the ten. Keep holy the Sabbath or Shabbat. And, you know, we, we say the Hebrew version, the Catholic, the Protestant. I just like to say it's the version that's listed in the Bible, Exodus 20. And the very fact that, that the Catholics and the Protestants have monkeyed with it uh, adds to the confusion. Because there's only one set of Ten Commandments. It's Exodus 20. And I suggest people just pick up the Bible and read it. So we don't have to have a discussion. The seventh day is to be set aside fascinating because people have in their head that Sunday is the Sabbath. Sunday is the first day of the week. Go buy a Hallmark store, pick up a calendar, get your free calendar from everywhere, anywhere in the known universe. Sunday is the first day of the week. Saturday is the Sabbath. No one ever moved it. No one ever changed the Sabbath, Joe. The Seventh-day Adventists, hence their name, observe Saturday. Jehovah's Witnesses observe Saturday. In the early days of the church, two days were observed. Saturday was always the Sabbath, the seventh day. Sunday became the Lord's Day. And a day that would be different from the Sabbath, you would go to church, where on the Sabbath you do no manner of work, you take a vacation, you take a holiday, you go to the park, you go to the lake, you take a day off. But Sunday was a day to spend all day in church, listening to words of wisdom from the preacher, pastor, priest, or minister. For reasons known only to God and human beings, people began to think of Sunday as the Sabbath, instead of the Lord's day. And so we're back to our commandment again, to keep the seventh day, which is Saturday. Do what you want on Sunday. Make it into a church day, make it into an observance, but don't make the mistake of thinking you're observing the Sabbath, because you're not. Sunday's the first day of the week. But let's get back to our topic. It's extremely important, Joe, to take a day off, to take time off. And I don't mean to take Saturday by spending it all day in a place of worship or tearing, pre-tearing your toilet paper so you don't do any fallacious work on the Sabbath. That's all silly. That's a silliness. The value of what God said was have a day away from your common everyday activities to renew, to refresh. And we've been led to believe the only way to do this is by following a list of bizarre and absurd, absurd commandments that don't really have me relaxing. And that's my point, Joe. Follow the commandment. Set aside a day. Take your dog, your family, your kids, your boat, your skis, whatever it might be, and take time out to refresh, to renew, so that come Sunday morning, first day of the week, we can get back into our weekly routine with new energy because we devoted the seventh day truly to rest. So what you're saying is that some more traditional forms of observing the Sabbath, such as avoiding any work. And my father was a Sabbath goy, as they used to call the term, for an Orthodox couple back when he was a boy. And he was very proud of how he would go in and light their fire for them. Right. You use the word allowed. Of course, you're allowed to light a fire. It's your choice to follow these arcane rules. And if you want to follow them, follow them. But don't make the mistake that you're pleasing God or doing something because God commanded it. In the Torah, it just lists do no manner of work that was the work at that time. It wasn't about not doing those things. It was metaphors. There were examples. And if you were to ask me today not to do any manner of work, my list would be different. And that list would be different from the 1800s. 
and it'll be different in the 25th century. And that's something we fail to recognize, that we give examples that are locked into a time and place, and we take it literally, rather than thinking, this is just to trigger us. Because the goal is take time out. And the idea of hiring someone to do things is a end run, because the work, somebody's still doing work. You're paying someone to work on a day because you're not supposed to. That's so wrong. That idea of a Shabbos Goy is so wrong. I can't begin to tell you how much. <laughs> it's a, a real legal fiction, Joe. Well, where would we be without a little legal fiction now and then? Thanks as always, Rabbi. I know I'm going to kick back on this Saturday coming and not do anything except relax and contemplate the universe. And that's exactly what the Torah is telling us. We all need spiritual renewal. We need to physically refrain from some of our work. And it's a real disservice if we're working 24-7. Take the Sabbath off. Take Saturday. Have some fun.